Hi, this is Joey. Welcome to our weekly Q&A. On October 13, Apple launched its first 5G smartphone, the iPhone 12 series, which seems to be welcomed by the public. Today, we have our senior analyst Dennis Chin to give us some insights on this new iPhone. Dennis, is there a super cycle coming for Apple? Firstly, the overall demand for smartphones in the past few years was sluggish. The frequency of changing phones is getting slower. Obviously, one reason is that there are less new features on the new models that make people want to upgrade to the latest smartphone. Using the data in 2019 as a reference, it shows that the top three models in the existing circulation among the iPhone camp were iPhone 7 with 5.6% market share, the iPhone 6S with 3.7% market share, and the iPhone 8 with 3.4% market share, whereby the iPhone 10 ranked the 4th and the iPhone 10S ranked the 11th. The iPhone 7 series were first launched in September 2016, which means that it is almost 4 years old, where a replacement cycle should have kicked it in. The second factors that matters are the US sanctions against Huawei. As Huawei is facing a very hard time, all the smartphone makers are paying aggressively to get back the market share. Apple did make some adjustments in the past three years so that the company offer a full range of models to cover different target customers. The third factor is the 5G connectivity. However, I wouldn't be too positive for now as there are no killer apps yet that require the 5G technology. I guess today most of the people are happy with 4G technology as it can satisfy most of the tasks that users want. So overall, I would say there is a very good chance for a super cycle in the coming years. What is different about this new upcoming super cycle compared to the past? There are a few things that are new to us. First, unlike in the past, many components used in the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro are almost identical. Secondly, more components are being modulized. These two factors help the iPhone manufacturers a lot because it will help the production to reach the optimal yield rate faster and easier. And with more orders, both Apple and the hardware supply chain could make more money. In addition, Apple continue to build more of its own accessories such as the AirPod, the Apple Watch and the HomePod and we define the role of smart devices. More and more sensors are being employed to come up with the new applications, such as the 3D sounds and the heart rate check. I would say now is still an early day for the sensor market to grow. That's it for our weekly Q&A. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you and see you again next time.